In this session, let's learn about Recycle Buffer Pool. It is similar to your key buffer pool but has one difference. The key buffer pool is used to store the frequently accessed data blocks and it is used to store small objects. But whereas Recycle Buffer Pool is used to store large tables and rarely accessed data blocks. You are thinking why rarely accessed data blocks need to be stored in the Recycle Buffer Pool? The reason is if there is a large table and if you have to scan all the data blocks, it is costly, right? And you know since these data blocks will be rarely accessed, Oracle Database will remove them to make space for the frequently used data blocks. So again, if some other user wants to do a full table scan on this large table, Oracle Database again has to read all those data blocks from the data files into the memory. So to avoid such scenarios, Oracle Database came up with this Recycle Buffer Pool where it said, okay, if there is a big table and if it is rarely accessed, store that in the Recycle Buffer Pool so that it doesn't get flushed out by the other more frequently used tables and indexes. Okay? And again, as a DBA, you must check at the SQL statements regularly and see if there is a need for a Recycle Buffer Pool. If there is a need, then you need to configure the Recycle Buffer Pool. You can set the size of the Recycle Buffer Pool using db underscore recycle underscore cache underscore size. Okay?